Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about set to go. And towing the slab in this one, Michael Lorenzen. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems Me like the there's more game. pressure, the he's more game. calm and settles yeah, in. Yeah. He's done an incredible the job game. with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And he'll one. And foul ball. <laughs> Time called. Going to now. Caught him looking for the K. It's Aaron Judge now. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. And a base hit into right. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So, man aboard. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right-hander kicks, deals, and it's one and one. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Here's a one two. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. One out and a runner at second. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Not in time. He's got a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Swings and misses. 0 and 1. Judge on third. Torres over at second with one down. Ripped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. One run is in. Another comes in to score. And they take a two run lead. And that's a double. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. 
That one finds the zone. Strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Kicks and deals. And one and two. And the pitch. In the dirt. In plenty of time to first. Two gone now. Well, he didn't want to go after him with the fastball at all in that at bat. Nothing but off-speed stuff. Even with all the change-ups coming, somehow he was still early on the swing. So I think he had to be thinking it was only a matter of time until he saw some heat. Everson Pereira stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. The 1-0. And that one missing low. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. And there's a ball. Kyle Higashioka waiting for a turn at the plate. The pitch. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And the runner holds. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. 3-2 on the way. And there's ball four. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And takes low for ball one. Righty delivers. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park. And taking the ball for the Yankees, Clark Schmidt. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and what having the fans four behind four them. Five, but five. this guy seems That's to four thrive four in adversity four. and being in some oh, hostile yeah. environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Cesar Hernandez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is downstairs. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. There's a strike. Line drive, and that's just foul. Two two now. The other way, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Riley Green stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around.
to the right side. Fires to second for one. Out with the pitcher covering. It's a 3-6-1 double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. And now the DH, Akil Badu. In there, and it's 0-1. Two down, nobody on. To third, Cabrera. Gets it to first. That ends the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We move on to the second here at Comerica. It's the Yankees two and the Tigers nothing. Welcome back. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. The center fielder, Billy McKinney. the pitch and first offering is fouled off and a pitch aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday Boog and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike that could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Isaiah, Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. One for four with a double in the ball game last night. First offering misses the mark. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. to count one and two he has a tendency to chase out of the zone and that slider that's down that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss one and two here misses just off the outside edge I think that was a strike Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Up next to the Yankees. The first base. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. He swings and fouls one off. Connor Falefa leads off first with one away. Next offering way upstairs. Righty to the plate. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The bat, number 99. Designated hitter. Here Aaron. comes Aaron Judge. Judge. Doubled his first time up. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Ball one, no strikes. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And yeah, the right-hander deals. 
Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so... And it drops in. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here is Glaber Torres. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. High fly ball, right field. Meadows should have it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. The throws offline. He's saved. It's three zip. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch is downstairs. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Oswaldo Cabrera up next. And that's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and... Guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Hard hit left side. That's the third out. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Now to the bottom of the second. Yankees three, and the Tigers nothing. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Kerry Carpenter. The left fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Schmidt back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And the slider just misses. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Batting. The right field. Now it's Austin Meadows. Homer last night added another hit as well. And a foul ball. Off the mark there. And it's a ball and a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. And now two balls and a strike. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. 
And first offering is fouled off. That's down and in. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. pitch and yeah, that's outside two balls two strikes Carpenter the lead runner out at second Meadows on at first with nobody out and he deals gets a piece and stays alive Here's a 2-2. And down on strikes he goes. And one out now. Well, not every great at bat ends in a hit. He saw a lot of pitches. That kind of an at bat can be contagious to a lineup. Spencer Torkelson, the next to hit. One for four in Sunday's game. First offering, and it just misses. The Tigers selected Spencer Torkelson number one overall in 2020 at Arizona State. And he rocketed through their farm system, made it to AAA in his first pro season, and then eventually made it over to Connor Falefa. What a double play that was. Inning over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We head on now to the top of the third. Yankees three and the Tigers nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now here is Everson Pereira. Everson. Well, I know that Bob Horner was a 1-1, and I know Rick Monday was the first ever first overall pick. Yeah, we also add Floyd Bannister in 1976. You know, Arizona State's produced more number one overall picks than any other program in the country. And a 1-0. pitch and a swing and a miss there well he's back out here for the third and after the first couple of innings pretty rough I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length see if he can save the bullpen some and here it comes on the ground right side oh a great grab on the dive and that's a great play for the out look at the big guy getting down and dirty robbing what probably would have been a double if it gets by him you love to see that because most times it's the shortstop or second baseman but he wants to get in the mix a little bit as well kyle higashioka stepping in now for the yankees over one so far and that is in for a strike it's 0-1. Higashioka goes six foot one, hitting seventh in today's lineup. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily bit out in front on the off speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. At the play, Billy McKinney. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left-hand hitter waits. That one missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Next pitch misses inside. And now 3-0. and oh.
And he walked him. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Now bad Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. He walked and came around to score his first time up. In there for strike one. First signs of bullpen movement here in the early going. Matt Manning getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Manning getting cranked up as well. The 0-1. That one the other way, and that's a base hit. Oh, he throws it away. Now batting, the first base hit. So the batting order turns over, and now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Out towards right center field. Green settles under it, brings it in. Runner tagging and heading for home. The throw is wild and it gets away. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. This guy with light tower power. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and that one hammered down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. He sends a rocket to left. His 26th of the year. It's 7-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Michael Lorenzen departs, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. New arm out of the bullpen, Matt Manning. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 25, Matt Manning. Glaber Torres up to hit. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Waste no time there. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Man at first. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. That's a little bit low. Stanton, in his 14th season, over 1,000 runs batted in in his career, and he's a former home run derby champ. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounce back to the mound. And it gets by him. Now battle. The third base Oswaldo Cabrera. So two down. Oswaldo Cabrera getting ready to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Torres over at second. Stan on at first with two down. Off the plate inside. It's a ball and two strikes. Got it by him for the K. 
But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 7-0. Back after this on the show. As we go Leading to up. the last of the third. And now the Chase baseman. Young. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the Batting strike out. zone. We're seeing the more fastballs in that location. Yeah. Hitters, especially Maton. with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Nick Maton in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Maton, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round. Back in 2017. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. That's in there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And here is Cesar Hernandez. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. That's in for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the catch for the out. Now bad. Here's no, Riley no, Green. No, no, no. He's 0 for 1. Green. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Had a strike in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Got him swinging. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in Detroit, here's the left fielder, Everson Pereira. Everson Pereira. Manic back to work. Out there to center. Green settles under it. Hauls it in for the out. Up next to the Yankees. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. That one pushed foul. One down, base is empty. And that's downstairs and outside. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right handed reliever.
And now it's filled up. Kicks and fires. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now here is Billy McKinney. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Higashioka leads off first with one away. Squirts away a little bit. And it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds. At the belt and fires. And that one is in for a strike. Swung on, belted. Meadows ranging back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Oh, the throw is over his head. Up Man at first, Isaiah kiner falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. That one's in there, 0 1. Way high. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Green settles under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. The Yanks leave one, but they're still in control. It's 7 nothing. Back at Comerica Park. Go. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the DH. Akil Badu. Badu. The right-hander back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, these Tigers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Carpenter in the box now. No balls and a strike. Hard ground ball base knock. couple of hits in a row for him here. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Austin Meadows now in there in its own one. That misses. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And now the count is even. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit.
2 2 now. Good eye right there. Bounced out to short. Knocks it down. That extends his hitting straight to an even dozen, Singy. Do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this? Yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Now it's going to be Jake Rogers. And first offering is fouled off. One out. Runners at first and second. The next pitch misses. One and one. Two on, one out. And it's even up. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended now slump, that, uh, one that lasts that's for that's several crazy. games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. And there's the strike. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Tigers strand a pair. Not going their way. It's seven nothing. Welcome back. DJ LeMay Hugh to start it off. And the right hander back to work. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Carpenter on his way over. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Judge in the box with one away as he takes ball one. In the air, out towards left center. Makes a nice running catch. And a couple of quick outs. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot now hang a breaking ball right there. Easy. Lucky it stayed Glaber. in the ballpark. Torres. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Glaber Torres. In there for strike one. Now one and one. Here's a one to one. That's inside. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. Were we supposed to bring something? Now See, I think just right our presence is Not the hard. present. Two outs, runner at first. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Well struck right field. That's going back. Back some more. Adios. Pelota. 
John Carlos Stanton goes deep. His 31st home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9 0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Next to hit, Oswaldo Cabrera. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. That one laced to center and a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Two consecutive base hits for these guys now here. Bad. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Everson Pereira stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch just misses. Cabrera off of first with two away. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one's back. Hits the fence. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double. Second and third now. Oh, okay. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Now the catcher up to hit, Kyle Higashioka. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the pitch. And there's a the ball. Next offering misses. Ball two. Well, he's just given up three straight hits. And now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The pitch. And a foul ball. Second and third, two down. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. pitch ground ball left side there's Hernandez handling the chance not in time and he reaches safely oh, that's a really tough play no matter who you are but I think he has a chance to get him at first if he's just able to get that throw off a little quicker it looked like he took one extra step to set himself and get a grip on the ball now on the bump, Tyler Alexander. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. So they're at the corners now. And now Billy McKinney. And that's in there for strike one. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Torkelson. He'll do it himself, and that'll do it. So they get three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Tigers nothing. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Jace Young. The second baseman. 
And a pitch. Just missed. Well, these Tigers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. And it's gone! His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boog, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. Now at the plate, Nick Maton. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. There's a strike. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. The 2-1. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. No, he was out in front there. No, just no, needs no, to let no, the ball no. travel a little Three, more. Three, and his timing will be back on track. Four, Good pitch for the strikeout. Hernandez up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Next pitch misses. And it's 2-0. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch in foul ground. Now got center fielder, Riley. Riley Green digs in now. First offering misses the mark. And a swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball evens the count. <laughs> Off the mark there, and that's ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Line drive, base hit. Everything came together for him. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And this is now a 10-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Detroit, leading start of the six, the John Chambi with Chris Georgia Singleton. Ball. And leading Ontario. off, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. And he deals. Out to short. Slings it across. Now one gone in the top of the six. The first the first base base. Base. DJ. So the lineup flips LeMahieu. over. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. 
Alexander, a 6'2 southpaw, 205 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2015. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. Pulls that one foul. Kicks and deals. That's towards center. And it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And a pitch outside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And it is two and one. LeMayhew over at first with one away. The next offering misses. And now three and one. Judge rips that one. He dives, but he can't make the catch. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Carpenter moving under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Two down. Now batter, right fielder. So first and second with two outs. Here's Stanton now. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Ball one, no strikes. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Around third comes LeMayhew. He scores, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. That's a base hit run scores. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. First and second, two down. And now, Everson Pereira. And fouled off. On the ground to short, dives, but it kicks off his glove. No throw, and they don't get the out. Up next is the Yankees. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Up 
And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. The 0-2. Two outs, bases are full. And the one two misses to even the count. Next pitch inside, counts full three and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. Got it. Good job at damage control right there. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. Yankees 12 and the Tigers won. Wandy Peralta takes over on the mound. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Kerry Carpenter now at the plate. No left fielder. Kerry Carpenter. Here comes a pitch. And fires in a fastball at 95. Oh, and two now popped up. Cabrera under it and puts the squeeze on that one down boy that was a hanging breaking ball right there I think he tried down, to down, do down. a little bit too much well, sometimes those eyes can get really oh, big I think his swing broke down oh, as well and that's what caused him to pop it up now it's Austin Meadows Meadows goes six feet three inches 225 pounds and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Left hand batter waits. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls one off. Two and two. Line drive, puts it away for the out. The catch is number 34. Jake Rogers. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Just a cookie down the middle. Now, I mean, those are the ones you dream crazy. about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Torkelson stands in now and watches strike one. That's in there, and that is strike two. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. And down on strikes. Third out. Tigers leave one. They're looking up at a 12-1 deficit.
Top of inning number seven. And now the center fielder, Billy McKinney. The pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Green going after it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Will Vest getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Foley getting loose as well. The pitch. And the 1 0 -oh misses low. And that's in for a strike. And the pitch. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And he's out. Try for two. Here's DJ LeMayhew. And a foul ball. Here's your one. Lifted in the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. One, two, three. Go the Yankees. But don't shed a tear. They're up 12-1. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Jace Young. The second baseman. Peralta back to work. That's a strike. That's in there. 0-2 oh, now. 0-2 oh, Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed away. And the 0-2. Oh, right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Up next to the and here is Nick Maton. A strikeout Maton. and a walk. Maton. That one's in there on one. And that clips the inside corner. Here's the 0-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Hernandez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. The tag and they get him. So a sloppy play there, but it ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle.
The pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Next offering is down low, and a count even one and one. And that's down it away. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Two and one on Judge. And now the lefty foul ball. The pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 13-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Jason Foley into the game. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Number 68, Jason Foley. Glaber Torres up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. This one in the air center field. Green settles under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. That one a little bit high, and it's one to know. That to right. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Automatic double? It's automatic double. It's not a ground rule double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Next to hit, Oswaldo Cabrera. That's it out. Everson Pereira stepping in now for the Yankees. Going one. Base knock center field. The run scores from third, and it's 14-1. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Runner at first with two away. And up next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. Swang and a miss. 0-1. Righty delivers. Foul ball there.
the 0 2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is that. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and a runner left. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees lead this one 14 to 1. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Ian Hamilton. He's making his second appearance of the season. Ian Hamilton. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. The center fielder. Riley Green. And here it comes. That's in there. It's 0-1. And the right-hander deals. Strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Deal two. Goes down looking. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking now, fastball and didn't That's see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Badu, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. In the air, out to center. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The left, the left fielder, fielder, number 30, Kerry. And now, Kerry Carpenter. In there for strike one. Smash to the left side. Connor Falefa throws the first in time. And that is the third out of the inning. at Comerica Park. We go to the ninth and stepping in for the Yankees Billy McKinney. Foley back to work. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Foley a 6-4 righty. He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer and he works in a changeup. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw on to Torkelson. Now one gone in the ninth. Now bad shortstop, Isaiah Kiner and now the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And it's fouled away. Right-hander kicks, deals, and now it's even up. And now two and one after that missed inside. Kicks and fires. to the mound and he can't come up with it but plenty of time to recover and that's the second out good arm side run to that same side hitter right there very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it just pours in on the hands DJ LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees ripped on the ground a second Throw on to Torkelson, and that'll do it. So they make short work of them there. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. Yankees out in front, 14 to one. 
bottom of the ninth. Leading Here is the Austin the Meadows. Riders, the right fielder. Austin Meadows. The right-hander back to work. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Going two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. On a line, base hit. Now that catcher. Yeah, yeah. So man aboard, Jake Rogers. Rogers. Up now for the Tigers. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Nope. Next one misses, and now it's even one and one. Line drive, caught! Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely no, ripped it towards third, third. But quick cat-like reflexes down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Man at first, Spencer Torkelson, the next to hit. That one misses. Ball one. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Torres. Back to first, double play. And that's the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. And that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 14-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.